Hey, it's Kenny. I'm uh, kind of out for a different kind of adventure today. It's kind of like geocaching, but it's not really geocaching, although I am going to be finding some containers that are hidden. It's uh, Find Your Treasure. It's a uh, deal at uh, Reedsport, Oregon. Uh, Reedsport, Oregon is celebrating its 100th year anniversary of since it was uh, incorporated. And so they have hidden 12 locations and they have a, a website and uh, tells you where to go. Um, it doesn't give you the exact coordinates, but it gives you a photograph and the, the container, which is a five by five lock and lock, is supposed to be hidden within 30 feet of the photograph. So we're at the first location here. So let's go see if we can find this container and we need some information from it to be able to enter into a drawing for a treasure chest. So come along with me. <laughs> So this would be the location where the picture was taken. So I'm going to go look, it gives a clue, and then I'll show you some more uh, views from this location. Took a little bit of searching, but I found the container. <laughs> so now we'll get the information out of this and then I'll go look at the view. Okay, we have driven over to the second place on the list that's uh, closest. So let's go see if we can find this one. Well, this is the view that the container is supposed to be near. So let's go see what we can find. Well, it didn't take me but a few seconds to find this one. <laughs> For me, it was in the obvious place. So I uh, will get the clue off of this one and sign a little log book. And then uh, show you some more uh, views of the area here. This is the Umqua River. And that there is the Crab Dock. A long time ago there used to be the Coast Guard Station where they had a couple rescue boats in there. Not anymore. Okay, we have made it to the uh, third location. I was just watching this bird fly by. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that over there. That is a turkey buzzard. Anyway, this one is a short walk out here and uh, it's in a little park, so let's go see if we can find it. I'm not sure why there's turkey buzzards out here. Don't <laughs> have any dead animals laying around. Well, I'm not sure what that is, but that's a lot of fur. Seems to be a bunch of ground squirrels out here too. They're running all over the place. Well, according to the photograph, I'm not the location, so I need to look around. There actually used to be a geocache right here too. A uh, real one. Let's see what we can find. That's the real geocache. I've already found that before. And now I gotta find this other container. It's gotta be here somewhere. Well, that was a little bit tricky because it actually was inside the regular geocache. So I got the clue from that one. And now I'll show you some uh, views of the area from this little rocky point.
those people out there are probably salmon fishing. My family, when I was a kid, we used to go salmon fishing out of this harbor a lot. It was great. Salmon is one of my favorite fish to eat. They are yummy. Okay, we are at the fourth location, and uh, I didn't even know this place was here. That's what's so cool about geocaching and stuff like that, is it takes you to places you had no idea even existed. So I'm going to go look for this uh, one and see what I can find. This would be the picture where you're supposed to find the geocache. So I guess I will look around here and then uh, show you some views of this golf course. <laughs> It was another really quick find. <laughs> get my name on the log sheet and get the clue. Okay, we are at the next spot and uh, this is a little bit of a walk in a park. So let's go see if we can find this location that's on that's the, the photo is of. There is a disc golf course in this little park. Pretty in here. Well, we're wandering around in the forest here, trying to find a location. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, let's get looking, see if we can find this. Well, I've looked around here for a while. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot because it does match the picture. Uh, but I can't find it. I haven't come up with it, so I guess I'm going to do a DNF on this one and go on to the next. Well, we are at the next uh, place. There's actually two places right next to each other here. And so I'll see if I can find the first one and then we'll go look for the second one. So here's the picture that lo locates you at the right place for this one. Um, I've, I've been in the Umqua Discovery Center before and it has a really nice little uh, museum thing to go through there and there's a gift shop and stuff it's pretty it's definitely worthwhile going to but let's go see if we can find this uh container first all righty then we got this one again so i'll uh, look inside of it and get the clue and sign the little log book then we'll go see if we can find that other one we are at the location and this is the Clue. Uh, do you know where the geocache container is, huh? Do you? I'm looking for it, but I don't see it. Why, well, you're a big dog, aren't you? I guess I'll look around some. Well, <clears throat> totally struck out here, but there's some friendly dogs to talk to. <laughs> the hint, uh, kind of made sense but doesn't make sense so I don't know where else to look anyway we'll go try and find another one okay we have driven over to the next spot and uh, let's go see if we can figure out where this picture is taken uh, that gives us the clue alrighty this looks like we're in the right spot I think part of this one's broke off. He looks like he lost his hand. Well, let's look around here. This, uh, this big parking lot here is where they have the annual chainsaw carving contest. I think it's already happened this year. 
so I looked all around that area. I didn't see anything that was jumped out at me as being a container. So I guess I'm gonna have to DNF this one as well. Well, crap. Well, we are at the next location. I hope I have better luck here since the other ones were two DNFs in a row. Um, I've been to this place quite a few times before. This is the Dean Creek Elk Viewing Area. There's a big, huge open field here, and quite frequently there's a herd of elk out here, but today I don't see anything but open field. <laughs> so anyway, let's go see if we can find this one. Well, I looked in the obvious place according to the photo. I did not find anything. Bummer. Three DNFs in a row. Always like coming here though, but it is nice to be able to see the elk. <laughs> I don't see anything today. Okay, we are at another location and uh, hopefully my luck changes on this one. Very pretty in here. Well, we're coming up on the area where the photo is. So, time to look around and see what I can come up with. Hopefully I actually find something this time. Well, I was getting a little bit concerned, but <laughs> I did, I found it. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what the clue is in the thing and get the logs signed well actually this one is a regular geocache and i don't see any code or anything anywhere there's nothing on the lid and nothing on the log sheet so i don't know found it anyway yeah okay we have moved on to the next spot, and this is actually a cemetery. Uh, it's an older one, and the uh, picture shows it up towards the top of the hill. It's cemetery on a hill, so let's go up there, and hopefully we can find a, a container with a code in it this time. I think we're close, so I'm gonna look around here. Yeah, I found it. Let's take a look at this, get the code, sign the logbook. Alrighty, we are at the public library. And it has a clue and a picture where to look at or where to look from, so... Let's see if we can be successful here, too. I really like this bench. Got carved books. I guess I need to look around a little bit. Oh, I see it already. <laughs> Here's another cool wood carving. All of these carvings came from a, a chainsaw carving event they have every year. Pretty awesome. It's a big octopus. I think I'll go sit on that bench and sign the log sheet and get that clue. Look what's on the bottom of this uh, geocache container. It's a snail. <laughs> Cute. Well, that completes all 12 locations. I found most, but DNF some. It's not necessary to find all to enter into the drawing for the treasure chest, so I am going to drop off my entries. Thanks for coming along with me. See you in the next video. Follow my adventures. Your comments are welcome. 
subscribe and be sure to click on that bell to receive notifications of new videos. Share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.